Welcome to Rose Mabua Goat Farm and today it's a special day we are going to be talking about crown management. If you are new to this channel please consider subscribing, like and comment below. Well today's topic is quite beautiful, it's crown management. So come with me. The first kraal, it's called kraal number one, and kraal number one is about 80. It's our maternity kraal. Our maternity kraal, we are putting only 10 goats, and we are feeding them lucerne. They have kids, we are, we are feeding them lucerne, and then we are feeding them pellets. We have uh, built a structure in which we have put this corrugated iron, so that Kanahoma Riga, it's cold now, uh, you know, in Africa now it's winter, uh, June up to Ju June, July it's winter. So we have put corrugated iron as well as corrugated iron on top in order to limit the stress on animal due to the cold, the, the cold uh, nights. Uh, coming this side, uh, this is still crown number one. We have decided to put up the thinner. This is building all the wall that you see here because uh, you know our African uh, weather it's quite uh, a tough one it's always cold so our goats that are here are the, are the mothers that are nursing the kids today we have let them go because uh, every time at 4 p.m. we let them stretch uh, themselves we have uh, put uh, two things which is the protein block they always call it molasses block there. Uh, protein block, there is a reason why we have put protein block in this kraal. Number one is because the vegetation, when it, we go into winter, the vegetation uh, uh, loses the protein. So we decide to put a supplement in terms of a protein block, as well as the garlic and salt block, the, the one that's below there. It chases away the flies, as well as it provides the minerals related to salt, fo uh, phosphate, as well as other, other vitam uh, uh, vitamins, as well as the, the trace elements. So in all in all, we house only 10, but we can house 50 goats here. But we don't want them to be overcrowded. We want to keep them uh, as a small number. So come and let me show you also how uh, this is our mohota. Mohota, this is where we put all the animals in. The, it's a stretch of 24 meters from where my cameraman is up to the end of the other crowds there. So it's a, it's a stretch of 24 meters. We put all the animals here and then either we inject them or we dose them or we spray them. We put all of them here and then uh, we have created this, we call it a food bath, even though it's dirty now, we call it a food bath. This is whereby we put all the necessary uh, uh, eradicate uh, 125 in order to control food rot in our animals. So uh, we usually do this, we usually fill it with water and eradicate 125 in a rainy season. So the animals, when they leave, they will go through the waters. All right. Crown number two. This is our box. Our crown number two is all our box. We key, it's a huge, this is the biggest, uh, is the biggest crown. Our box, they don't go out crazy. We always keep our, uh, our, our box in zero grace. So we keep our, our crowns this side. And then we move on. This is number three. It's also our biggest uh, kraal. We still have 
corrugated iron in front and then the bricks at the back as well as the, car the corrugated iron on top. This is for the warmth. We are going to be removing all the, the corrugated when summer comes. Uh, we have all put uh, these gates. We buy them from the shops even though they are uh, a bit cheaper, they are not strong. In the future, we'd like to design our own, weld our own gates. All right, let's go to kraal number four. This is the kraal we keep our winners. So we, these winners are uh, 16 in number. We have win them and they are waiting to grow. We are actually feeding them uh, lucerne as well as Luben pellets. This is for them to enable them to grow. And once they grow, we are going to be putting our star ram here. So as you can see, they are looking beautiful, but not all of them. We still have to uh, uh, manage them. So all our, our kraals, we make sure that we put leak. This is your molasses block. We call it protein block, as well as the salt. The goats know what they want. So if you put both of them in your kraal, they will choose the ones they want. And we are in a season where we are developing. We have just put up this new shade. We are going to be putting all the corrugated iron on the sides uh, because the weather, it's, it's terrible in winter. The, the, the coldness, is, it's terrible. And we are going to be dismantling that shade. All right. The last and not the least, we have this kraal. It can also uh, house over 50 animals, but this is our hospital bed. Every person has a hospital bed when you are sick. So all our sick animals, we put them here. We have all uh, Mikoro, where they eat and where they drink. So Temba, this is the kraal when at night, he wants to come and check all an sick animals. We, we, he comes to this kraal. Today we don't have any sick animals and uh, it's quite empty. But uh, last week we had a, 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 an encounter of hot water with one animal and we were able to save it. So this is our kraal guys. We have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six kraals in Rosemo Gold Farm. And I hope this video helps you guys. We love you. We love to have you here. We are called Rosemo Bogo for a reason because of you guys. All right. Thank you so much for having us today. I hope you enjoy uh, our YouTube channel. Ciao, ciao.